Okay, hello there. I'm JMO from Xcase in the United Kingdom, www.xcase.co.uk. If you want to browse and have a look at us, in the middle of building yet another server for somebody. This is a 2U, it's made by Shembro, and it's called an RM216. So while well, I've got five minutes, I thought I'd pull it on the old forklift. And we'd have a good look and see if it may suit your rack mount needs. As said, I'm only just halfway through the build on this one. And um, time's a bit short, so I'll get straight to it. Now the 216 is a 650mm deep extended um, 2U, which means it will take a full-size 12 or 13 motherboard, as I've started to fit here. This particular one's a tie-in motherboard, an S7010. Um, this particular board we like a lot because you can get a lot of memory in. You've got two banks of six, and each bank can take four and eight gigs, so do the multiplication, I guess that gets you to 96 gigabyte of RAM. Very nice, especially with two Xeon processors. Anyway, this isn't about the board particularly, it's about the case. So, one thing that we like a lot about the RM216 by Shembro is it's got a lot of expansion possibilities. Coming as standard with two, four, 5.25 bays, and two, three and a half inch. Now, you can use these in many ways. Obviously, you can stick a CD-ROM in, as we have here. You can have internal or external drives in the three and a half. Or you can use these 5.25 bays to fit a three in two cage. So three hot swap um, drives in two bays. Uh, Shembro do a caddy to do that. Or recently, um, a lot of companies have jumped on the two and a half inch drive bandwagon. Now you can actually get four two and a half inch drives in one 5.25 bay. So you could, in theory, have 16 two and a half inch drives in this 2U. And perhaps a couple of uh, three and a half for an OS, have the rest of them raided up to a raid card. Or you could have, as I have here, one uh, DVD rewriter, perhaps eight two and a half inch drives in a hot swap caddy here, with your two three and a halves, perhaps you want to put card reader or something in the front. Anyway, the point is, lots of expansion possibilities. Oops, wrong way. Right, call in, we've got these four central 80mm fans. They do kick out a lot of noise. That's because they want to call the motherboard and the processors. Some people complain, I can never see the point. Anyway, if you don't like noise, I suspect you can change them for lower noise. 80mm fans, but it kind of kills the whole point of having high-speed ones. Fitted on this particular RM216 is a single power supply. It has to be a 2U type rather than an ATX. We do 400 watt, 500 watt, 600 watt, various makers, Seasonic, Zippy, etc. You can also fit a 2U redundant Again, we do 500, 600 watt, two year redundant power supplies. This particular one has got three full height horizontal expansion ports. And now generally we do use the version that has five low profile slots. 
mainly because most things nowadays you can get low profile like video cards, RAID controllers, and even sound cards. Anyway, so I think the reason this one is having uh, horizontal slots is we're going to put a riser card and a very long, um, I think it's some kind of video card and he needs the uh, the length. Now, taking into account it's not the cheaper of the two U's and you do have to um, put a proper 2U power supply, power supply in it as opposed to an ATX one. It does put up the price from some of the other 2U's that we do, but it does have this awesome amount of front access expansion. <clears throat> it does take full-size motherboards. And again, as in all Shembro cases, it's very strong, very well made. and very reliable. So there we have it, Shembro's RM216 definitely one of my favourites in the two U's. Hopefully it will be useful for some of you. Thanks for listening.